Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today we're going to continue looking at our UV Editor tools. The UV Editor can be found under Windows UV Editor. If we open the UV Editor, you can see it here. And there's lots of different tools that we're going over. Under the Tool menu, if I break this off, we can see lots of tools. And we've already gone over a lot of these. So today we're looking at the Sew UV tool. Now in order to use any of these tools, you need to have UVs in your scene. So in order to demonstrate any of these tools, I need to open up some kind of model which has UVs applied. To easily do that, I'm going to use the Sculpting tab in Maya 2016. They have a button here, which is the Open Visor for Sculpting Base Meshes. If I click this, it opens this window, which contains lots of pre-built models that come with Maya. They all already have UVs applied. So I'm just going to open one of these and import right click on import into my scene and here we have a dolphin so with the dolphin selected I can go back to the UV editor and you can see the UVs here that have been created for it already each of these uh, groupings of edges or sections is referred to as a UV shell and right now these have all been laid out in a way that will allow a texture to be made for them relatively easily so in order to demonstrate the Sew UV tool, first I'm going to cut some UVs. And we've already gone over the Cut UV tool in another video. You can take a look at that. But simply by clicking the Cut UV tool, I'm going to zoom in here, click and drag, and cut through this edge loop of UVs. And I've cut that UV shell into two halves. So I'm going to sew these two UV shells back together again. Here in the UV Editor toolbar, this button right here is the Sew UV Tool. You can also find it in the Tool menu. Go to Tool, Sew UV Tool. And let's open the options. I'm going to move this over to the side a bit so we can see the tool settings. I'm going to hit Reset Tool and look at what we have. First we have a size slider. There's a circle around my cursor to indicate like a brush size. And that default value is 0.04. And below that, we have a couple of checkboxes. One is display all shell borders. So just in case the shell, the borders of the shell are difficult to see, you can check this box and those borders will highlight very obviously in these bright colors. So I'm going to zoom in on this uh, cut that I've made through the middle of my dolphin UV shell. And as I mouse over that cut, you can see the edges that get within the circle highlight red. Only the ones within the circle and also only only edges that are the border edges of a UV shell. None of these edges within the middle of the UV shell are highlighting and if I left click on them nothing happens. As I mouse over the border of the UV shell those edges that make up that border highlight. So as I left click and drag you can see how those edges get connected back together. So those edges are very close together. If I left click and drag over here, you'll see nothing happens. If I increase the brush, you'll notice that the circle is much larger. And that's because what needs to happen is both edges that connect together, both border edges of a UV shell that are, that are the linked together have to be within the circle. If I left click now, you'll see it all get kind of messy, but here it goes. So all these edges try to get sewn back together again, and it gets really messy. Let me undo all that. So I'm going to decrease my size of my brush. So the Sew tool works where two edges that fit together, if they both are within the circle and you left click, they will get sewn together. If they're far apart and they're not both within the circle, they won't get sewed together. That was the size slider. Next is steady stroke. And if you remember from the cut UV tools, it's the same kind of thing. You'll notice as I move my mouse around, you know, if my mouse is not very steady, my stroke can be kind of wild. If I check steady stroke, left click and drag, I get this line and the sew tool is dragged behind my cursor, similar to a water skier being dragged behind a boat. My cursor is the boat, 
the water skier is the so UV tool and then the line between them and the reason why you would want to do that is if you notice as I move my mouse back and forth the so UV tool that the black dot with the red circle around it isn't really jittering back and forth at all even though my mouse hand might be jittery I might not be getting the smoothest stroke with my mouse movement with my hand the cursor itself will smooth my motion because it's being dragged behind the cursor and when steady stroke is turned on you get this distance slider and that's literally the distance of the line between the cursor and the tool if you increase this click and drag you see that line can be much longer so you increase the size you get your bigger brush but you increase the distance with steady stroke turned on then you get that line behind the cursor that the tool gets dragged behind while you're left clicking and that's essentially the sew UV tool you have the cut UV tool here and then the sew UV tool they're the exact opposites of each other but those two tools you'll use a lot when dealing with UVs in Maya whenever you're creating your own UV shells you definitely want to cut away for example the fin UV so that they can be mapped separately over here to the side and also you'd want to sew together for example they've sewn together the uh, stomach of the dolphin so this line going through the middle of the dolphin is the stomach of the dolphin It's blended through here hopefully you can kinda see that there's the two eyes on both sides of the dolphin and they've chosen at the top of the dolphin to be the border of the UV shell that is the sew UV tool hope you learned a little bit about cutting and sewing UVs with these two videos uh, thanks again for watching and I will talk to you later